in a cramped up city like Mumbai, where there isn't even an iota of peace for a second. This nature park is a gift to mankind. Maharashtra Nature Park A brainchild of three environmentalists who wanted to transform the area into a green lung for their city. They turned a garbage dumping ground into a forest with a lot of efforts and a vision. Now Maharashtra Nature Park boasts of 120 species of birds and some 75 types of butterflies and 30 types of spiders. It's a haven for nature lovers and photographers. Considering the location, the park surprises you in the first place. It's in Dharavi where the world's largest slum is. The park's backside is flanked by Mithi River. I came here for the first time in 2010 and was surprised to find so much greenery in the heart of the city. India is a developing nation but let's face it, we are lagging in the sanitation department, which is the need of the hour. India is home to one of the dirtiest cities in the world. Most of our rivers are polluted, Mithi River being one of them, which was Maharashtra's most polluted river in 2018, containing human and animal excreta almost 15 times the safe limit. We as Indians collectively need to work as our country is getting dirtier day by day. But all is not lost. This park is the biggest example. Let's start. This is where the trail begins. This is the entrance of the park that leads into the forest. At the left you'll see a lake. At the right you'll see a beautiful forest. The rains wrecked havoc this year, so there is still some greenery in November. This is some forest guard post, I guess. Best job in the world. This road is just beautiful.
that's the lake on the right there's bkc on the other side that's the meeti river the badlands are here there is a hardcore mosquito zone so if my camera is shaking that means i'm swatting at those suckers with my other hand This is the trail that goes into the forest. This path is really beautiful. In the monsoon a little stream flows by underneath The dumping ground closed in 1977. After that the site was gradually turned into a forest by relentless efforts of passionate individuals. It was not a pleasant experience though. Soil was put over all the harmful garbage before planting the trees. All the trees you see over here are grown without the use of chemicals or fertilizers. Vermiculture programs and rainwater harvesting are the pillars of the park. Around the same time an extensive cleanup drive was conducted. to clear the polluted meeti river and mine creek along whose banks the dumping yard was located close to it some 150000 mangrove saplings were planted at the periphery of the park along the creek there is trash in the landfill which makes it difficult for the trees to access groundwater so the management has to keep planting new trees to replace dead or fallen ones to help them along the authorities fill water and irrigation pits close to the trees in winter the roots reach out to the water in the next few months before the scorching summers arrive
we should really get inspired by the efforts of these individuals who literally gave life to a dead wasteland. Because of them, we at least have some green in an otherwise concrete jungle. If we don't clean up our act soon, we are going to end up at the top of the dirtiest countries in the world list. Not a joke. But I don't want to end this on a negative note, so I'm going to say this. Let's make our city clean and green again, because we can.